This is Kenny Jates with MMAAbsolute.com and we're here with Ray Brother Cooper, uh, one of the original guys here in Hawaii that got MMA started. Ray, thanks for taking the time out to talk with us. Uh, we know you're here on the Big Island to watch your son fight. But uh, Ray, you're one of the, as, as we said, one of the first guys that, that got MMA started here in Hawaii. And now your son, you know, he made his pro debut here tonight, came away with a victory and a nice fight. Um, that must make you feel real proud as a parent. I mean, you got MMA in your veins. Talk about how that feels, you know? Um, actually, it's his first amateur fight, but uh, it's kind of a bittersweet for me because I actually wanted him to continue wrestling in college. He actually he got a scholarship to go to uh, Bacon University, and it was um, a huge opportunity for him. I was, I was preparing for that, and I knew deep down inside he wanted to try to fight, and so you know, I had to try to support him whatever he do so you know I did and so it was bittersweet for me it was it was nice to see him fight it in a way but I wanted him to continue to wrestling first finish college first and then go into the fighting what what made the decision uh, to start fighting and not continuing with his college uh, he didn't want to go to school he didn't want to study mostly but uh, he, he loved wrestling he wanted to wrestle but he had a hard time in school so mm -hmm. he, he he didn't want that part of it. Oh, I see. And he always wanted to fight. I knew it was in him for a little while. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the school was a big thing. He didn't want to go. And were you like helping him prepare for this fight? Were you involved as, as far as with his training and stuff? Uh, mostly, mostly it was his uncle Kai and uh, Uncle Ronald June at the 808. Um, I, I was just uh, you know just trying to manage him and, and, and just try to give a little input on my on my side but mm -hmm. mostly it was his uncle Kai and Ronald. And I know you've been out of the game for a while uh, as, as far as fighting and stuff like that but when you come to events like this and you know especially your son you know watching him fight does it like bring back the memories and oh, yeah. you know like the, the brings, juice flowing again? It brings back memories and, and and all the mental games that we go through as fighters and, and I guess it's a little different because it's your your son, you know, like see him get hurt, and mm -hmm. so it's a little different preparation as a, as a parent and, a, and a, as a, a trainer. I can imagine. Um, and just as a side note, if you know, if you could say something to the young fighters that that are just coming up now, I mean, you coming from somebody like you, you're one of the original guys that that got MMA started. You fight guys like you know Jake Shields, Hermes Franca, oh, I mean, real big name guys. What, would, what advice would you give the young fighters that are coming up? I would say go slow. Now, when we were fighting, we didn't have amateur fights. So we had to jump right into the pros. So for me, I would like to see them go slow, take it slow. At least, you know, 10, 15, 20 amateur fights. You know, and, and just uh, train hard, be disciplined, and not just go out just for the, 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 the glamour and, mm -hmm. and for the fame. If you love to fight, you love to fight for the, for the sport of it. So, you know, take it slow and, and, and be disciplined and, and humble. Well, thank you for your time. Is there anything you'd like to say to anybody that be watching this? You know, family or anybody? Uh, just, Jesus loves you and uh, thank God for everything. Uh, well, for MMAAbsolute.com, thank you again.